Hello, everybody. Welcome to the D-Pad. I'm Rick. This is the Super Mario Wario Thon. We're starting off with a little bit of Super Mario Land. Uh, there were a lot of little technical things to sort of suss out with all of this. I do have all of these cartridges handy, but we are emulating these because it was going to become a bit of a nightmare dealing with all the various uh, control schemes and setups and things, and all of this is actually going to be doable, minus the very last game, the Super Nintendo Controller, which is kind of nice. Uh, and I had one more thought, and I lost it. Um, oh, if, God forbid, anything happens to the power or whatever, the Retron would pretty much instantly lose all of our progress if we hadn't been save-stating. Uh, we're a little bit safer here, and I don't think the Retron... Is, uh, the Retron has a tendency to just kind of crash... These presumably shouldn't, so we won't have to be quite so paranoid about save states. You'll also notice that that daylight behind me is probably going to be fading out over the next uh, one or two of these. Uh, but yeah, so to give people kind of a heads up before we jump in, we're going to be playing uh, Super Mario Land, Super Mario Land 2, Wario Land 1, 2, 3, and 4, as well as the Virtual Boy Wario Land and Wario Land Shake It. Uh, that is our lineup, not in that order we're exactly, but it is going to be that set of games. Uh, today we're probably going to be doing, uh, Super Mario Land 1 and 2, Wario Land and Virtual Boy Wario Land. There might be time for Wario Land 2, we'll see. Uh, but 3, 4, and Shake It are all definitely going to be tomorrow games, and presumably 2 will be 2, but that'll be kind of a, a stretch goal. So let's see how this goes. VBI, VBA has some awkward um music issues every now and then and it just is a matter of like alt tabbing away so if it gets crunchy i'll do my best to fix that on the fly this will probably be a pretty short one and in between games we're gonna have like a quick little five minute bio break um so yeah without further ado let's hop on in whoop oh are we Oh no! Hang on, one quick sec. I'm gonna have to uh, to quickly re reattach my inputs because it seems to have decided to. Yeah, it got rid of them. One sec here. Whoop. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, now we should be good. We good? All right, that looks pretty good. Um, sorry, Thursday, not tomorrow. My bad. This is this is a Tuesday and Thursday set. So. There we go. Let me know if the volume is a little... Oh, Jesus Christ. Let me know if the volume is a little bit too loud here. I'm actually going to turn it down a little on my side. It seems like it's coming through actually very loud. Oh, you know what? I know why that is. Because apparently this thing just decided to lose all of the settings I gave to it before. Let me just double check a couple things. Okay, we should be good now. We got game music. No game music, no sound. There is sound. Do we have sound? Do we have music? Are we good? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know if anyone actually has played this in the in the channel. I had this one as a kid. Oop. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. There we go. Every once in a while that might happen. Hopefully it won't be too severe. And if it continues to happen, we'll have to sort something out here. But, uh, but yeah, so... I had this one as a kid growing up. It's actually the first Game Boy game I ever owned. We got our Super Ball, which moves in a diagonal direction. It is a huge pain in the ass to actually use. Oh, yeah, and the demo screen, they don't play any sound. Once you're actually in it, it plays music and, uh, and sound effects. Don't like that that is happening that much. Um, so, yeah, th this was actually the first game that I owned on the Game Boy. And it... Oh, here we go. Yeah. Get a little Carmen in there. Or is that the Can Can? Is the Can Can from Carmen? Why do I feel like those are connected? Oh yeah, you can also yep, use that to collect a bunch of these. Why is it doing that? Oh yeah, this is on low latency mode too for this stream, or at least it should be. So hopefully it'll be a little bit less of a delay. Uh, this time around. Oh yeah, a bonus game. I forgot about this. 
Yeah, I already had the fire flower. Or the so it looks like a fire flower, but it's a it's a super ball. It's a little bouncy thing. Uh, Brental floss, famously. Uh, Brental floss and uh, oh god, um, Dave Ballmer did a uh, did their Super Mario Land duet about that. There we go. Oh, that's right, Gallop and Fresnel. I think I actually talked about that in a video once, and I'm forgetting. I'm trying to remember which video, because I believe I actually brought up Super Mario Land as an example of another use of it. I would hope so. It would've been, it would've been this in Tetris, right? I don't know what's causing those issues. I, I was struggling to find a real answer when, Jesus, when troubleshooting this before. Um, we'll call this the warm up here. For what it's worth, what I was getting at originally is that the gravity in this game is very uh, stiff. It's kind of hard to describe, but you drop like a fucking rock in this game. Uh, so this one was one. There we go. That can get a little tricky if you're not uh, if you're not careful. Wouldn't mind getting another mushroom. Uh, I think there's a star in one of those if you, uh, if you get up there. Up there. Oh yeah, the Koopas all have fucking bombs strapped to them in this game. So when you when you uh, kill them, they will sit there for a second and then explode. Which is going to make some of the uh, the platforming later on a lot harder. There's some, uh, near the end of the game, there's some platforming on very, very tight little platforms. Oh, damn it. Not always as responsive as you want. Yeah. Anything in here? Nope. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it fixed itself very quickly there, too. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, we're not doing any, uh, hey Jeff, we're not doing any, uh, any penalties or anything for this. I almost, I've actually got space in here for a timer, which I might wind up adding in post. None of this would be valid on speedruns, uh, on speedrun.com anyway, because I'm not using their prescribed, um, oh, there we go. I'm not using their prescribed, uh, uh, emulator, nor will I for any of these games. Um, they want me to use uh, BizHawk for Virtual Boy, and they want me to use um, Gambate and uh, or BGB, I think. And I just didn't have enough time over the course of today and yesterday, when like prepping most of this stuff to like deal with a new emulator on top of everything. So, so that's okay. I don't, I don't really want the added stress of trying to like sort that out on the fly too. Um, whoa. But I'm guessing issues like, you know, the sound thing we're dealing with right now are, are some of why they don't use VBA for, like, exact timing and things. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Um, Super Mario Land goes with a white background uh, for, for most of the game. There we go. Uh, whereas the second one mixes it up a little bit. And later games are going to use a lot darker theme, uh, darker like color, you know, aesthetics and all that. So like this is going to be the brightest one for sure. Um, this one and uh, <coughs> excuse me, I can tell you that the background for the for the right side of the screen here for um, there we go <clears throat> for Super Mario Land Two will also have a white background. Ah <coughs> uh, yes. That's right, because there's only three stages per... Come on. There we go. It's only three stages per uh, per level here. So, uh, I should also mention, the controls for Mario are like... Oops. I completely forgot that that was a thing here. Oh, my God. Um, there we go. Isn't there supposed to be... I don't want to chance it right now, because I don't think these guys care about... Uh, whether you're close or not. Uh, so yeah, there's a weird bit of, like, momentum with Mario is very odd in this game. Oop, Jesus Christ. So you can see for, for like, what I was talking about, about that you can, like, drop out of the sky, basically. Gravity is ridiculously strong in this game. Uh, 
Fighting the boss is going to be not great if I don't have any powers here. And I don't think I can actually get up there. I don't think I can build up enough of a jump. I can't break those because I don't have a... Because uh, I think, yeah, I have to be... Mm, let's go underneath. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Oh, there'll be red later. Uh, for what it's worth, on the plus side, the emulator that I use uh, makes it kind of a like a softer sort of purple color that I've color corrected back to red, but it's not nearly as like harsh as the actual um, as the actual Virtual Boy is. So it's not going to be quite so headache inducing, at least in real time. I am going to try to in post when this goes up as a, as a video for later. I am going to at least try to like approximate as best I can a Virtual Boy palette. We'll see how that goes. All right. Listen to how this guy yells when you hit him. There we go. Not too bad. Uh, very high ground except Well, so that's the other thing is when you move, yeah, you kind of like get up to speed quickly, but if you try to do a little like run jump, like a lot of platformers will, you have like a half speed jump that's like really awkward to use. Oh, Daisy. Ah, thank you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> thank you, thank you very I almost looked over here like the camera was over here. Maybe that's what I should do in the future is put the camera on the side. So for whatever reason, it doesn't show up all the time in the... Uh, yes, all right, in the uh, in the thing here. I don't know why it doesn't. It's really a bummer that the, the HTML5 chat thing doesn't include it. Oh, yeah. Ba -ba -da -boo. Ba -da 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 Oh yeah, so this was uh, the first Game Boy game that I had a, as a kid, and I didn't realize that when you get a Game Boy, the uh, the contrast knob is turned all the way up. Oh shit! Wow, I didn't have any control in the air there. I just kind of went vertical, and then nothing worked. I was like, if I could go left or right, then I'll be okay. And it didn't give me either. Ba -do -do -boo. Ba -do 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 -do. There we go. Can I get a mushroom out of this? Uh, nope. All right. I was like, can I get the mushroom and hit the pipe? Okay. I wish I knew how to solve that, like, crackling audio situation. The stuff that I looked up did not solve the pr my problem, so... Ugh. Oh yeah, that one's one you can hit multiple times. Nice, I'll take that. Oh right, these guys take multiple hits. Or at least with a fireball anyway. Oh Jesus. Ah, fuck it. I might be able to just jump on them, but... The coolest thing... Ah, oh, damn it! I was gonna say the coolest thing about the, the Super Bowl is that it collects coins, and it'll like zigzag like crazy. Uh... When you, when you, uh, come on, there we go. It'll zigzag like crazy if it gets caught in a couple of them. Ah, damn it. Might be able to still do this. Ah, those remind me of, um, let's call them black moons, but they're like, whatever they are, it's like two kind of shells of chocolate cakey, like devil's food cake with like a, with like a frosting y kind of stuff in the middle. I'm sure there's like a million names for it, but. Can I run across? Yes, I can. I'm, I'm never 100% sure when it comes to a Mario game. Uh, my mom played Tetris like a fiend. I think everyone's mom did. Moms across the world made that the best-selling game of, like, all time for fucking 30 years or whatever. Ooh, boy. There we go. Ugh. All right. Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. There we go. Yeah, get me out of here. 
Ooh, I thought I missed my jump for a sec. Alright, let's get up here. Ooh, nothing, alright. There we go. Suck it. Yeah, I believe this was supposed to be something else. Uh, and then somewhere fairly early into development, they were like, "Ah, oh, never mind. All right, where is it? There it is. So this theme I find very interesting. So listen to it. This theme, to my to my knowledge, is like the only thing that carried forward from this game because I want to say in Mario Land Two, there's a world, there's a level theme that that has that as like the starting bit. And then it continued with like a. I think it's like the little haunted mansion level in like Pumpkin Zone, but I forget. Alright, here we go. Alright. Oh yeah, by the way, little shmup in the, in the middle of this. Alright. Oh yes, please. There we go. Just slam right into everybody. Alright. I believe that's going to get less severe over the course of these games also as the as the songs become more involved and less chippy. Oh yeah, this is such a mean little trap. Just like, yeah, here's some big fuck-off walls that you have to clear, and if you're Big Mario, you really need to, like, get on that fast. There we go. Oh boy, that was a little close. Ugh. All right, there we go. Eek. Get a bunch of coins. Oh boy, hey, 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 all right. Okay, looks like we're good there. Ah, boss time, here we go. Get up there. Oh, nice. That was actually way less bad than it can be if you kind of get unlucky there. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't remember how much Tetris 2 I've played. I was more of a Tetris Blast and Tetris Attack guy. I had Tetris Blast on the Game Boy, Tetris Attack on the Super NES. Uh, I like I like stuff like this as as oh, as auto scrolling levels. I don't mind schmuppy stuff, but um, some auto scrolling levels when they're a little bit too like bottomless pit ish, I don't really love. Um, Yoshi's Island has a few I like and a few I don't like. Ah. Okay, so this one I feel like this is the level that gives everyone. There's this level and the level after both are like ridiculous and weird and are basically like the bulk of the identity of Super Mario Land. Because you got the fucking Moai heads everywhere. Oh boy. Uh, in this one. And then in the other one you have like... It always reminded me of the of the fighter from Kung Fu. Like the, the video game Kung Fu. Um, you'll see what I mean when we get there. Oh boy. Uh, oh damn it. Yeah, I got a half jump on that, and it wasn't really being very kind. Alright. Oh, okay, I was like, can I make a... Oh, so once you drop to half speed, you can't get any more speed up. That's the maximum horizontal velocity that you will manage, which makes correcting errors really tough. There we go. Uh, that's bait. I'm going to leave that one alone. Yeah, it ha it does a little like dun 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 in there, and it's like oof. Okay. Oh, these fucking guys! I hate them. 
they're all over the place and they're fast and mean and they're sp they're they're like animation is just off enough that it like really feels weird and I and creepy to me. Uh, there we go. That'll do. Oh, I could use... Uh, oh my god, okay. That was a little tight. Uh, there we go, get out of my life. Oh yeah, they'll just dive through platforms. Forgot about that. Oh yeah, I have to wait for this guy. One of these kinds of little segments here. There's a cute little hangout on the rock dealy. Is that cute or what? Do 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 do. Oh god. Ah damn it. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, got another one? Yes we do. It's weird, this level really extends itself like crazy. There we go. With the, uh, the little rock section there. Yeah, they have like, oh, they have a weirdly kind of stunted animation cycle where it's either two or three frames and it's really unsettling. Yes, alright. Ooh. Yeah, that sounded awful. All right. Oh yeah, it didn't seem to be an issue that was the result of like streaming itself. I because I was I did a, re a local recording with it and I did it without um, without XSplit on at all, and it didn't seem to matter. It still did the little crunchy stuff every now and then. And I I don't entirely know. So it's also possible that one of the things going on here is that the hardware, in a similar way to how. Um, so if you try running some PC games on emulated hardware, it'll kind of overclock itself and run like, ah, damn it, and run like way too fast. So this does have a throttle built in, and I do have it like set to what are allegedly the correct settings, and even still it's like really struggling to, uh, oh, there's a, there's a fake one there. Or not a fake one, but there's one that's going to fall. This is going to be tough because I don't think I'm going to be able to like, oh boy. So when I jump on this platform, watch what comes from above. There we go. Okay, it doesn't fall nearly as fast as I thought it would. Eek. Alright. Ooh, that was close. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> I never feel safe with that. Right. Anything in here? Boo, 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 boo. Mario was going to be spiders. He just was. Oh, fuck! Damn it. I was trying to correct myself. But instead I wrecked myself. Oh! Then that one wouldn't let me move forward any faster. Ooh, all right, that was cool. I'll take it. Uh, we should probably get... Oh, fuck me. <sighs> also, unfortunately, doing a death counter style thing in this overall uh, thon is not going to work out terribly well considering uh, two of the games, you literally can't die. Like... The entire premise of Wario Land 2 and 3 are that Wario cannot die. Well, not the premise, but, like, a big part of the gameplay mechanics are that you are not capable of dying and will just kind of deform or transform or whatever as need be. Eek! Oh, my God. I actually don't know if this... I don't remember if this game whoa, allows you to have crushing deaths. Oop, well, all right, I guess I'm going uh, down below. 
I mean, you you can continue if you want. I'm just saying that like for two of these for two of these games, at the very least, there will be there will be a a big old zero, regardless of how well I play. Oh boy. Uh, this one, I think this is the one that's got like a lot of really tight platforming on tiny platforms. Uh, and it's gonna get a tricky. Oh yeah, these are also these will kill you by the way if they. Oh, they won't kill you, but they'll hurt you if they if they do if they contact you. Ah, damn it! I should have waited. That's my bad. Oh, all right, I'll take that. Oh, boy. Let's try not to use it immediately. Ooh, boy. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Keep a keep a running tally on there. We'll see how uh, how these go. Boing. Okay. Oh, nice. Ah, I remember this section. This one's a mean son of a bitch. You have a very limited amount of time to get what you need to get done here. Uh. There we go. And if you don't have the physics down, then you're in big trouble. Uh. Oh, wow. I thought I... Okay. Oh, really? Ass. Let's do it again. And this is kind of a bummer to... Oh, boy. It's kind of a bummer to do this without uh, the... Super Ball as well, so we're not going to be able to destroy the boss. We're just going to have to get past him uh, <coughs> uh, Mario 1 style. There we go. Oh yeah, that's right. This one doesn't even leave. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, if you get hit in the middle of powering up, so powering up is, as you can see, the screen doesn't stop. Um, uh, uh, the screen, the screen, like the game doesn't pause to give you your power up. And if you get hit in the middle of powering up, you will instantly power down. You have no iframes during that. Oh, that's right. That's how this guy works. I forgot about this. This one's actually really not easy to do. Oh. You essentially have to jump on one in midair, and then and then jump from that, propel yourself up to the the end goal. Here we go. Oh damn it! Fuck it! Just run through it. Forgot that if you have uh, if you have a mushroom or a flower, then you can just bum rush it. Blah, blah, blah. So low latency appears to appears to be like 10 15 seconds. Maybe 5 10 seconds. So that's not too bad. Uh the normal latency is like 30 seconds or 45 seconds or something which is nuts. I was debating ultra low latency but it was like oh it'll it may affect the the quality of the stream and I'm like, well, then no. <laughs> uh There we go. I wouldn't mind, I, I don't mind getting the Super Bowl. All right. See what I mean? So the funniest thing uh, to me about about this is that about about this stream slash this game, uh, or rather this stream of this game. Oh yeah, I don't think there. I don't think you can. Okay, you can, but it takes multiple. That's right. Um, they look like little knife wielding girls. I know that they're like that. That's an actual like thing, uh, but. Uh, but yeah, so the the funny part is that I'm not gonna know unless I pay attention to what time we started, like how far, how long the stream has been active for when I start a given game to have an idea of like what my time is. Uh, it'll be there in post. I'll make sure that it's synced up correctly uh, in post. But oh, she did. All right. But it'll just be kind of, it'll be just kind of amusing in the meantime that I'm just gonna have no idea. There we go. You gotta get two. It looks like. Star? Nope. I'm trying to remember. Yes, you can jump on them. But don't they come back? I think they come back. Yeah. That's the real bastard with these. There we go. 
There it is. All right. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. I was like, I just don't want to deal with this. I do remember this game being considerably harder as a kid, though honestly some of this might just be because I've played it enough times that I've got some practice on how to deal with certain elements of, uh, of this. I'll leave that. Oh, come on. Oh, do they have Jiangxi in the, uh... In the uh, Jackie Chan Adventures, I, do, I remember bits and pieces of that show, but nothing really concrete. Yeah, let's do this while we wait. All right. Huh. Oh, yeah, this. You actually have to make the jumps. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Let's do that. Get her out of my way for a second. Oh, my God. Are we there yet? Uh. Oh my god. Do 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 do. You want to whine at me? Oh no. Oh god. And it turns out somebody has used the value in two places configuration and you a sane person only looked for it once because mm -hmm. who the fuck puts it in twice the config <laughs> generally speaking not a not a smart thing to do some asshole went and put it in at the very bottom so of course it overrode the one that i was changing nice. meanwhile i'm sitting here feeling insane nothing i'm doing is working nothing is changing anything i try it's been a great hour. How's your hour? Been? I could hear from downstairs that you were like having a having a moment there. Uh, yeah, I was having a few moments. You were having a you were, you were having a bit. You're having a thing. Having oh fun. right, this fucking thing. I don't know if it was intentionally like so, uh, one of the dudes from Mario Brothers two, but it certainly acts a lot like him. Can I? Yes. Okay. I couldn't remember if I could actually. I think you should fall Ooh. Right into their mouths. Oh yeah, look at this little guy, puppet snake. Oh yeah. Okay. He's dead. I killed him. All right. Yeah. Every once in a while, the audio in the game gets a little crunchy for whatever reason. It's just like, it's so, the graphics are so cute. I know. This was, you had, you had, it's actually kind of surprising just how tiny the, the, the graphics and the, and the, you know, sprites and things are. Because I'm so used to games where it's like, oh, yeah, you're never going to have a game where the sprites are lower than... You know, eight like sixteen by sixteen, and that the tiles in the background are going to be at least that size too. And it's like the blocks I'm standing on are eight by eight. Like this looks like a game you would make for the Pico Eight at this point. Like as a novelty little like, oh, what ain't that a cute little thing? Well, one of my favorite things about stuff like this when it's tiny and, and things like that is looking at it at its appropriate size and yeah. seeing how oh, good it's it so oh my god in the, in the right size. It's like when you look at stuff that's made oh, for shit. the oh, um, time to go. CRTV stuff. Oh yeah. Like, and you look at it on the actual CRTV instead of on like an LCD screen. And you're like, oh, it looks like that because they're assuming all of this color bleed that happens. Yeah. It looks great when you look at it like that. Like, they were working with what they had. It's just, I don't know. I find it fascinating. Oh yeah, no, that stuff is always is always super. Oh my god, I almost got fucked by that. Uh, it's always super cool to kind of look at it that way. With with Game Boys and stuff, it's kind of hilarious because like. You're also not like limited, but it's also impacted by like the size of the screen that you're using in order to look at it at the mm. normal size. Because like this monitor is like a double 1440p or something, so like literally one tenth of the height of this screen is the height of this game. <laughs> it's true. You have you have far more pixels than this game is prepared for. Yes, <laughs> slightly, just a little bit. So it is always interesting to kind of look at it that way. Good luck with uh, the oh, awful. Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. So 
This will bring us to our final level, and we got there in like, what, 25-ish minutes? All right, it's another shoot 'em up for what it's worth. This time we're in the sky. And we get our we get an awesome credits theme too. I actually really love I am I am a sucker for good credits themes. Uh and this one has a pretty solid one. It's actually one of my favorites ever. Uh I I think I used it for a video at one point or used a remix of it or something cuz like it's it does a, a shockingly good job of capturing some uh, some emotion for the Game Boy. Alright. Hoop, hoop. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh my god. Everything's a mess. There we go. I think you can. Oh no, you can't. Oh, you can. Okay, I was like, I thought you could technically kill those. And you can. It just takes like 12 hits or something crazy. Basically, not worth it. I can do that, though. Oh god, that got so garbled at the end. Alright, so this is where it's gonna start getting a little bit. We're coming up on the ending here. We're gonna be fighting Tatanga. My uncle used to tease me and say that there was like a secret a secret like bonus level or whatever if you if you like did a thing here and you like dove into there's like a part in the back that looks a little bit like almost like a pipe, but it was full of shit. That jokester. Oh, I would love to try this with, with actual better physics. Like, I've gotten used to them over the years, but like the physics in this are bad. <laughs> Alright. Get some extra lives at the end here, why not? Oh yeah, these things. You can't do anything about them. Don't know whose fists they are. Alright, Tatanga. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Uncle Danny, yes. Ugh. This is a legitimately difficult motherfucker here. Like, dodging the blast isn't the end of the world, but doing that while also trying to land hits on him while he's ducking and weaving like this are, uh... Hey! All right. I think that would be time right there. My guess would be somewhere around 30 minutes, just based off of, uh... I think I, I, I forget how long I was actually chatting at the start before we dove in on the real one, but that's okay. Boom, 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 boom. Alrighty. And yeah, give it a second here, we'll get to a really great credits theme. I just like the way it kind of revs up. I don't know. Oof, not helped by the crunchiness. Gunpei Okoi as the producer. I don't recognize that name, Okada. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, so, so that's Super Mario Land. As you can see, a very, very short game. About 35? Okay, that sounds about right. Um... Yeah, so not a bad start to all of this. It's funny. I'd, uh, I had uh, I had debated doing something along these lines as like a series at one point. And I was like, that'd be such an such a weirdly lopsided kind of thing here, where like you wind up with Super Mario. I guess I guess Kirby kind of went the same way, right? Where it was like, hey, here's two episodes essentially, uh, and then. You know, later ones are going to be substantially longer. The later ones are going to be several hours. So, uh, I also don't think that there's going to be all that. I don't think there's many credits here. This game was made by, like, less than a dozen people, if I remember correctly. Um, but, yeah. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got our special thanks in here. Hopefully, this was uh, not too terrible with all the sound glitches and things for folks who haven't seen this one before. But, there we go. The end. Oh, and then I think 
I think this will just sit here forever if you don't do anything. Uh, if I hit start, we come back here. All right, well, thank you guys for joining me for that. I'm going to take a quick break. We'll be back in about, we'll say, five minutes. We'll jump into some Super Mario Land 2. See you then. Yeah.